Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to give you a quick look at the Marathon Adnac GPD Digital Watch, GPD for General Purpose Digital Watch. Now I'm not going to go through all of the different features, there's really not a whole lot to show you. This is a basic functionality digital watch, but it is built like a tank. I think the idea here is you want a strong, shock resistant, water resistant watch without all of the complications that you get with some other watches. There's no barometer, no altimeter, no thermometer, no smartwatch features, anything like that. It's legible, it's big, it's easy to see the values on it. You're gonna have your time, you're gonna have your date. You have a second time zone you can view, you have a timer, you have a stopwatch, you have an alarm, and that's really about it. Backlight, so on and so forth. It is water resistant to 20 ATM, which is 200 feet, six, or I'm sorry, 200 meters or 660 feet and it is nice and large, 48 millimeters is the size of this watch. To give you an idea, I've got my Casio G-Shock Solar Mudman here. You can see it's quite a bit bigger than that, which that, this is actually kind of a smaller watch in terms of G-Shocks. Here's my Casio Pro Trek, and you can see that it's pretty comparable in size to a Pro Trek if you've ever had a Pro Trek model. The thing I like about this watch is it's just very legible and basic in terms of functionality. You've got four buttons on it, the top left one is going to be your backlight. That's all it's going to do. You've got a mode button that will take you to the different modes on the watch. And then you've simply got a start and stop button for modes that require starting and stopping, like your uh, countdown timer, stopwatch, and that's about it. Let's go ahead. I'll show you on your time. You've basically got your date. You've got an AM, PM indicator up here. You'll see this little bar that's going around is basically your seconds tracking, but you've also got your seconds value over here that is visible as well. You can see that there's also your date value at the bottom. If I press the mode button, that will take me to my alarm mode. You've got two different alarms you can set on this watch. It's showing me my first value here. If I press the mode button again, it'll take me to the chronograph feature. This is where I mentioned the start and stop buttons coming into play. I can simply press start to begin the chronograph or stopwatch feature. I can stop it and then I can press and hold the reset button. And I can reset it. Press the mode button again, it'll take me to my timer. Again, you've got the start button that will come into play with your timer. Stop, reset. You can obviously adjust some of the values on here. I'm not gonna go into all the specifics. Maybe I'll do some separate videos to show you the adjustments. Press mode again, it'll take you to your second time zone value. So you can view the time in a different time zone. Press the mode one more time and you're back at your timekeeping. It's about as basic as you can get. The only other thing besides that is your backlight. Let me see if I can make it dark so you can see what the backlight looks like. Anyway, that is a quick look at just the basic functionality and navigation of the Marathon Adnac Digital Watch. As always, I hope the video helps.